Hey, y'all, this week's quick tip is a new feature in Google Calendar that I think you're going to love, and it's called appointment schedule. And this is different from appointment slots. In fact, this is replacing appointment slots. It, if you've ever used that appointment slots, was kind of clunky, didn't really work for um, a lot of different reasons. But this I am in love with. So what I'm showing you here right now is what's called a booking page. So if you're not familiar with this idea, this is a page that you can send a link that you can send to other people, including parents to sign up for time on your calendar and avoid that back and forth email. Well, I can do it on this date and this time. And this is just an easy way to do it. Let them sign up and add it to your calendar automatically. So I want to show you today an example of using this for parent-teacher conferences. I am in my Google Workspace for Education account. It is a uh, free version. It is the fundamentals. So it is available to you here. I have tested this and this link does work on the outside world. However, um, I'd love to hear from you if you decide to try this. So parent-teacher conferences, you can use this for whatever. If you have anybody who needs to sign up for time to meet with you or someone else or a team or whatever, this is a great way to avoid all of those emails back and forth. And all they have to do is come to this booking page and they're like, okay, I want to come at 10 a.m. And then it automatically fills in their Google account information or they can change it if they want to put in a different one and click book. That's it. Super easy. So let me show you the first thing you need to do in Google Calendar. And that is to go to your settings and scroll down to the bottom to where it says appointment schedules. And if you don't see this yet, you should very, very soon. This is a new feature. And check this box right here. This will flip the switch from appointment slots to appointment schedules instead. And then it will automatically save, go back. And now when you click your drop down under create, you have the option for an appointment schedule. And this is where you fill out all of the information and you have so many options here. So let's go ahead and name this parent teacher conference day. And how long are the appointments? I'm gonna leave this at 30 minutes, but you can customize this. The availability. So um, this is a parent teacher conference day. I'm gonna pretend here and it's not something that repeats I'm going to do not repeat, and then you're going to pick a specific date. So this is going to be Friday, and oops, I added two days. So you can see you can add multiple days. So this is going to be from, let's say, 9 a.m. to, let's go to 11.30 a.m. because we want a lunch break, right? And then you're going to add another one. And so here, this is for the same date. It's automatically jumping another hour. I'm going to add this down to 3 p.m. And you can see over on the left-hand side, it's building it inside my calendar. Now, the scheduling window. How far in advance are you going to allow people to book this? That's what this is about. So 60 days is the default. That's two months ahead of time. And how many hours can they actually still book before the appointment itself? Um, so I'm actually going to change this to 24 hours because I may need prep time for that. And then this last little drop down is your appointment settings. Do you need a buffer between appointments? I love this. This is one of my favorite features of Calendly. Um, so if you're familiar with that, this is a very similar type of tool. Yes, I need a buffer. Give me at least 10 minutes here. And so you'll see it's building in that buffer. And how many can I book in a single day? Well, if I check this box, that's going to limit it to four. Even though there may be more time on the calendar for more than four, I can say four is my max. Um, I'm going to uncheck that because I'm going to do more than four and I'm not going to limit that. I'm just going to click next. I don't really know why this is kind of um, a light color, but it, the button does work. It's kind of misleading. Now, um, your booking page photo and name. So this is going to pull from your Google account. The location. So yes, if this is a Google Meet conference, you can add the meeting, um, phone call in person, and you can actually, of course, like you can in Google Calendar, add the address and put all of that information in there, or if it's going to be specified later. 
I'm going to say in person, and I'm just going to go generic on this and say Casey Bell's classroom. Add the description, and then the booking form is the information you're going to gather from that form. So first name, last name, email address is the default, but you can add more. Um, so if you want the phone number, which for parent-teacher conferences would probably be good, I can add that in there. I can also add custom information I want to gather. Um, so if you're using this in other ways, which I, by the way, have stopped using Calendly, and I'm going to start using this for people to book time with me. Now, the last thing down here is another really great feature, booking confirmations and reminders. So they are going to get that calendar invitation once they sign up for that time slot, but you can also set up these email reminders. So by default, it sends one reminder the day before. Maybe you like to send multiple reminders, one a week before, one a day before, et cetera. So I'm going to add this here. Um, you can customize it. I'm going to add another one 10 minutes before. Make sure they get that. And then click Save. So now my booking page is created and you can click here to open it. This is the link that you will share with the people you want to sign up for this time slot. Um, again, this is brand new. This is a perfect example of something that coaches will love if you want to sign up for one-on-one -on -one time with your coaches, um, with your tech support, with your curriculum people, whoever it is. This is just fantastic, y'all. I love it, love it, love it. I want to hear what you think about it. If you like this tip, give me a thumbs up ring the bell and subscribe so that you get notified when new tips come out each week. And by the way, if you have not hopped over to shakeuplearning.com, go check out the free resources we have there and join our email list. Bye, y'all.